So in this video, we're going to be talking about the Vulkan API. So the Vulkan API is going to be replacing the OpenGL API that we use in a lot of technologies today. It's used in Android, it's used in Linux, it's used in a lot. And Vulkan is replacing OpenGL because of its performance benefits and it's how it, it's changing how graphics drivers interface with GPUs. And OpenGL does that in interfaces with a GPU in a certain way, and Vulkan does it in a better way, which is increasing performance in many, many different areas. So in this article, I have it in the description below, this is a Power VR Rogue GPU GPUs running GNOME Horde demo with a Vulkan prototype. And on the right side of this video here, I'll scroll down a little bit, right here is the OpenGL side, and on this side is the Vulkan prototype. And we'll play this, and I'll show you what this is. So on the right side again is OpenGL and on the left is Vulkan. And as it pulls out even more, you can see the performance on OpenGL getting even worse. And as you notice here, the CPU usage is, is climbing a lot as the CPU is helping, is trying to help the GPU process all these new objects on the screen, while in Vulkan, as you can tell with the CPU meter here, um, it's staying stable. And now it's increasing a little bit more as the frame rate is stable. And in the article it even says how Vulkan never dropped below 30 frames per second, which is amazing when you're talking about the CPU load is being shared between the CPU and GPU, and it's more shared across all cores. So that's what I really meant. Where here you see this, the, the you see that OpenGL is only using the second core of the CPU, while Vulkan is evenly distributing the process across all four cores of the CPU, while keeping the FPS above 30 frames per second, which is really amazing. Now, Imagination is committed to continuing full support for OpenGL ES for a long time to come alongside developing the new Vulkan API for Power VR Rogue GPUs and devices that will use the Vulkan API. Now the optimization again has to be on the developer side and when they are coding these new games, the developer has to take into account how the code and everything they have to do to make games run better and evenly distributing the usage and performance across multiple cores of the CPU. The OpenGL performance clip here, you can see that it's only using the second core of the GPU and very little of the first. Now down here is the little uh, chart of how the two drivers interact with the GPU. And on the left side, OpenGL right here, it the application is on top and then you have the two traditional graphics driver including included significant context, memory, and error management, and then the GPU. And then as Vulkan does it, the application reasonable for memory allocation and thread management to generate command buffers and then direct GPU control. So what that means is that it's really, really close to the GPU layer where OpenGL is a little bit farther away where the application is considered. So that means Vulkan is going to have better performance because how much power it's going to be getting from the GPU because it's having direct GPU control. So in my opinion, I think the Vulkan API is fantastic. It's going to be a great competitor for Microsoft's new DirectX 12 and Apple's Metal. Now Apple is switching from OpenGL. They've been on OpenGL for a while now and now Apple uh, Metal is coming out which is going to be their OpenGL replacement for Apple devices. So my MacBooks, iMacs, the phone, uh, Apple phones, things like that are going to be using Apple's Metal instead of what they used to use, OpenGL. And what I'm really excited for is the performance benefit we're going to see on Linux, where the Vulkan API is going to be used in new games that developers are making on Linux. And that's going to be really cool. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about the Vulkan API? Leave it in the comments below, and I will message you back. Also, what do you think about my new intro? I made a new intro, was playing around with Blender a little bit, and I made this nice intro. Leave what you think about the intro in the comments below as well. So, as always, my name's Andy Tawaras. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.